first branch of physics that we're going to learn about this year is called mechanics. Mechanics is the branch of physics concerned with the motion of bodies under the action of a system of forces. And bodies is just a synonym for objects. It doesn't mean uh, human bodies or something like that. And it comes from the Greek word mechane, which means machine. And the study of mechanics goes back all the way to ancient Greece with philosophers like Aristotle and Archimedes. The first topic we're going to learn about in mechanics is called kinematics. Kinematics is the branch of mechanics which describes the motion of objects without consideration of the causes of the motion. So we care about how things are moving and not why things are moving. And this comes from the Greek word kinema, which means movement. Okay, into the first lesson, uh, which is called scalars and vectors. And the guiding question for this lesson is what's the difference between a scalar quantity and a vector quantity? So first, why don't we define quantity? In physics, a quantity is a property of an object that can be quantified by measurement. So the number of books on a bookshelf or the length of your pencil are quantities. You can count those, you can measure those. Um, and we'll learn a lot of quantities this year. So instead of giving definitions that really don't make any sense out of context, uh, let's look at some examples. So here are some examples of quantities that would be considered scalars. Um, I don't know about you, I really like Skittles. And when you pour some Skittles out into your hand, maybe you get five Skittles. Maybe you get 18 Skittles. Maybe you only get one Skittle. Maybe the bag was empty and you get zero Skittles. Right? The amount of Skittles that you get is a scalar. Another classic example of a scalar would be money. Right? In your pocket, maybe you have 42 cents. Maybe you have five dollars. Uh, maybe someday you'll have a million dollars. I guess not in your pocket, but you could have a million dollars. And the amount of money that you have uh, would be a scalar quantity. And another example that I like to use is music. And there are a lot of different aspects of music. I'm thinking about the volume uh, at which you listen to some music. So sometimes you listen to music quietly. Um, other music you listen to at a more moderate volume. And sometimes uh, you listen to music that you just have to blast. All right. These are all scale. Uh, these are all examples of scalars. And so, to define scalars, we'll say that a scalar quantity has magnitude only. And magnitude means amount. So we talk about an amount of skittles that you have, or an amount of money that you have. Those are scalars. Okay. Let's move on to vectors. Here's an example of a vector quantity. So let's say this is your house, a very lovely house, I might add. Um, and you want to describe to me where the school is in, in relationship to your house. And you tell me that the school is two miles away. And, um, you know, that's helpful information. Um, but, you know, the school could be two miles northeast of your house or two miles southeast of your house or two miles west of your house. And so I don't really know where the school is. Um, I don't have enough information. In fact, you know, the school is in the center of this picture, and you know everything, every place on that white circle is two miles away. So it's really not that specific to say two miles away. However, if we just add one extra bit of information, if we say that the school is two miles northeast, then I know exactly where it is. Right? The addition of the uh, information about direction really helps out. Here's another example. Let's say you're driving on the Long Island Expressway in Comac, and I want you to tell me where you think you'll be in an hour. Well, it depends on a couple of things. First of all, how fast are you driving? Right, The speed limit is 55 miles an hour, but sometimes there's traffic and you're only going like 20 miles an hour, or sometimes if there's like an accident, you might even be you know, stopped. You're going zero. And so how fast you're going uh, is going to matter. And what also matters is the direction that you're heading. Right, If you're traveling east, then maybe in an hour you end up in Riverhead. Right, But if you're traveling west, um, maybe you end up in Manhattan. Right, so where you end up really depends on two really important things, how fast you're going and what direction you're going. All right, so let's define a vector. A vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. Um, and I hope that you can see in these two examples how important the direction information is. Okay, let's summarize. A quantity is a property of an object that can be measured. Scalar quantities only have magnitude, and magnitude means amount. And vector quantities have both magnitude and direction.